Real cooking is all about following your heart, not exactly the recipe. Well, my name is Suresh Venugopal and today we are going to cook one of the most favorite recipe all over the world. I can say that it's none other than chicken dum biryani. Personally my favorite too, I'm sure it's a favorite for many. So let's get started. As you know, it's chicken dum biryani, which means we need to marinate the chicken. I have taken one kg of chicken and I have lined up all the ingredients. So let's get started with the process. Very first is the turmeric, which goes in for marination. Then a spoon of chili powder. I also have biryani powder. Just a half a spoon should be fine. Then a bit of a garam masala. Coriander powder. A pinch of cumin powder. And now ginger garlic paste you can go with two spoons yogurt curd two big spoons perfect salt a bit of a salt taste and I'm going to add to squeeze lemon juice perfect also have just add one spoon of oil should be fine so let's get started it's always good to use your own hands to marinate it so adding a couple of chilies and fried onions and it gets marinated see it's all perfectly mixed all the spices are mixed very well and it's time for it to go for refrigeration one to two hours should be fine but the more you marinate and more you refrigerate it gives better taste so it's ready to go in the fridge so while the marination process is going on in the refrigeration let's get started with our rice so see here i have used 24 high pot and i already have the water ready okay i'm going to use one kilo of rice but then before i put the rice you know that we need water to be warm, boiled, so I'm just adding a few spices. As you see here, okay, all the spices are going in the water. That's fresh. And yeah, this should be fine for now. Switch on. And go to your vegetable window and from there let's add just two minutes perfect two minutes let the water boil so that we can use the rice I have taken the basmati rice of one kilo already washed nice and clean drained as you see it's beeping and you can see the mirror reflection on my cook and go app has reached the carriage window and it's showing the minus symbol, which means I have to reduce the heat. Just press any one particular button. We'll wait for two minutes to complete, and then we can add rice into that. All done, zero, zero. It's time for us to add the rice. Let's see the water. Let me remove the oil thumb first. Keep it aside. 
see water is almost boiling we can see the richness the aroma of all the whole spices coming so perfectly ready for us add the rice completely just be careful when you're adding have reduced completely the heat perfect just give a slight mix up done add a bit of a salt and I'm just adding one spoon of oil the reason is so that the rice doesn't get stick so we'll not have we'll have all the rice grains separate done mix it well time for us to go back for three-fourths of rice to cook see I've closed the lid I'm going to use my auditum once again go to my vegetable window you see here vegetable window carrot window add again two more minutes that should be more than enough to have three fourth cooking of your rice all done zero zero it's time for us to open the lid let's go we'll switch off the audio thumb I'll remove the audio thumb almost cooked it's almost cooked I can quickly check try it out you see the grains are nice and lengthy it's three-fourth cooked I could feel that yeah perfectly ready it's time for us to drain the rice I'm using a 24 centimeter soft area I'm sure we have it as a part of our accessories also the combi ball so that we can quickly drain it remove it rice yeah so that just be careful it will be nice it will be hot be very careful when you're doing it yeah almost done so this job is completed let's keep it aside it's done now it's time for us to complete the process of chicken biryani let me get my pot let's get started to complete the process of chicken dam biryani your viewers have a look at this beautiful pot we call it as 32 centimeter primus perfect for any family so as we said it's a unique process what I'm going to do the marinated chicken is ready for us I'm going to layer it up straight away the marinated chicken just pour it off completely Put it nice and flat because we are going to layer it up step by step it's done let's go with uh, coriander that goes as the first layer then it's all about mint leaves perfect it's time for the rice to get in perfectly done 
you can see the quantity easily a family of five to six members 78 members also can be done this is done now one more layer of onion have a bit more onion and to add it you can use onion in between with coriander mint also in between the layers up to you you can use it together or you can use it half and half once again I'm using the coriander and the mint leaves I'm using a bit of a saffron milk and a small pinch of food flavor color red color it gives a perfection that's it all done now it's time for us to close the lid and then go to your audio thumb your viewers five minutes your biryani will be ready as I said it's the vegetable window perfect vegetable window switched on is showing 10 minutes whenever you press the plus button it show you 10 minutes and you can always increase or decrease we're using 9 8 7 6 5 perfect is set let's wait for the biryani to complete its process just one more minute to go as my app shows just one minute to go so that I can switch off my gas stove. Viewers, you can see here showing perfectly zero zero means it's completed its process. I'm switching off the gas stove completely closed. Let me also switch off the audio thumb. It's done its job remove the audio thumb leave it aside now since it's a chicken dum biryani allow it to stay as it is for next 15 minutes because it needs it's cooking with dum so leave it as it is for 15 minutes and be perfectly ready to serve exactly after 15 minutes okay. well it's time for us to open lid and see how our chicken biryani is cooked to the perfection. Let's do it together. 